this is the Rillcroft 29 Barato, built circa uh, 1983. Benefits from uh, having uh, a Ford engine on shafts to a completer. As you can see, the solar panels on the coach roof and one in the wind windscreen as well. Uh, hanging davits, bathing platform. Big advantage of this style of boat, you've got these decent side decks. Big, heavy duty uh, stainless steel pulpit and grab rails. Light masters folding. itself well renowned a good sea keeping hull uh, tough strong built boat Okay, that's better. We're out the wind now, so apologies if you couldn't hear me very well uh, when we were outside. Hopefully you could. So inside the cockpit of uh, the Railcraft, mind your head, um, big open cockpit area. You know, uh, I mean, you need to go as far as the sun pad, really. Certainly very comfortable for sort of two, three, four people even. The lump in the middle that I just tripped over is the engine. We'll take a look at that in a moment. Uh, is a 70 horsepower, two and a half litre uh, Ford diesel on shaft. The current owner has, uh, uh, well last year I should say, uh, refurbished um, the, the engine, uh, including refurbishing the diesel pump as well um, and servicing at the same time. He has also fitted three new batteries to her as well. Um, nice clear instruments. Uh, behind the two black panels, we've got a Navman fish finder, if I can get the panel off, there we go. And behind the other one is a Navman GPS. Engine hours, according to this rev counter, 4,138. So, I'll just uh, get the engine hatch up and we'll take a look on the engine. So this is the Ford two and a half litre engine. The uh, Seacock, you just see underneath that weed strainer there, replaced last year. You can see the build is quite dry down here. And it's well insulated. So although it's under your feet, it's perhaps not as noisy as, you, as you'd imagine. Now, beneath this bench seat, would have, originally would have been the engines. Uh, now you've got uh, tanks under here, diesel tank, I believe, and uh, a little bit of extra storage space. Um, I will just lift that up so you can have a look at that as well. There we go. Um, bit of storage, diesel tank, and your steering gear behind. Your batteries are also just tucked underneath that life buoy. I'll just grab that out of your way. Here you can see batteries as well. Right, let's just step down into the cabin. Mind your heads, you step over the engine hatch. So, kind of conventional layout here with a convertible dinette to port, V berths, forward. Uh, this time we've got the infill in place, but it can be used as two singles uh, or indeed as the double. Nicely concealed galley, so when it's not in use, doubles up as extra storage space. But then of course, as soon as you want to use it, hop underneath the first one. With then oven and grill, or big pardon, just an oven below, so it's a Flavel 
Vanessa oven. 12 and 240 volt fridge. The chlorifier, which is also fitted new, 2020, just discreetly hidden in here. It has also got an immersion as well. So you know, previously the boat didn't have hot and cold running water. She does now. She also has an Ebus Matcher heating unit as well. And a new shower. So the shower pulls out of the sink. And you've got a shower curtain to pull around and obviously a uh, manual flush toilet. TV on that bulkhead. So the Rollcraft, um, uh, you know, I mean, she's, she's not perfect by uh, any stretch, but you know, as you'd expect, she's 37, 38 years old now. Um, she's in good order for her age. She's got good spec, um, heating, Obviously, the, uh, the recent addition, along with the hot and water, hot and cold running water. Uh, in fact, the engine has all just been redone as well. Um, make a really good boat to uh, cut your teeth on for your first boat. Um, happy on the river, plods along very nicely. Drove around uh, from a mooring myself this morning. She handles very well. Uh, yeah, great boat to, to, to start with, but um, relatively sensible money. For the full details, please log on to www.nya dot co dot uk uh, go into the used boat section and search for railcraft thanks for watching